In this video, we will see how to change call ringtone or clock tone. In Android, it's very easy to do it. And let's see how to do that. So what do you need to make this change? You don't need anything special or you don't need to root for this. So let me go into my clock app and do my ringtones. So you'll see here all the ringtones that come by default, except for one. Here you can see something called bar chip that I have added to the list. If I go into my call ringtones, so go into your call settings, and then here you will see something called phone ringtone. Just select that, and you would see a list of default ringtones. But to this list, I have added one of my custom tones, something called C sound. So let's see how I did that. So if you want to do straight from your phone, you need to get a uh, file manager app. There are many file manager apps available on the Play Store. If you want to do it from your uh, PC or Mac, that's very easy to do it too. You will, and we'll see how to do that. So go into your file manager app and you will see many folders here, but we need three main folders and one is alarms folder, second notifications here, and the third is ringtones. So these are the three main folders we need. So now if you want to change your alarm tone, and you have a custom tone that you like to use. So what you need to do, just bring that file and drop into this folder. It's as simple as that. Here you can see I have a virtual file. Now, if you want to change your ringtones, so go to your ringtones folder, bring in, bring in your file and drop it here. You can see here, I have a C sound file. And if you want to change your notification sound, same, drop your file into the notification folder. It's as simple as that. As soon as you drop your file here, your clock or call apps should be there. So just go back here and select, and if you come back to this list, you should see that uh, your customer is done in this list. If you don't see it, don't worry, just reboot your phone and it should pick it up. So that's how simple it is. Now if you want to do the same thing from your Mac or PC, when you connect your phone to your Mac, you should see all these folders as you're seeing in a file manager. So the same thing, draw your file into these folders on your Mac or PC and it should work. It's as simple as that. I hope you will enjoy. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Bye.